<clears throat> Good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. If you watch my channel at all, you know that I like to go into the comments section and reply. I use this for inspiration for videos. And yesterday I received a question from Judah50 that said, can I create a group with just me and one other person? Purpose is to label it for something other than regular text. Or does it have to be two people other than self? Thank you. I think what she's asking is, is can I like create categories, create topics? So I send it to this quote unquote group, but it's really just a group of me and one person. One that's about this and when it's about say church or family. And then I send it to this other group, which is just me and this same person. If we're talking about school or sports or family or business, whatever. And the answer is no, because those groups would all be the exact same. So when you're, think of it like this, when you're sending your text to, um, to your friend Sharon, it will always go to her same inbox. Does that make sense? Unless she has two numbers, regardless of whether you're texting about business or school or neighborhood gossip with the housewives, okay? Whatever it is, you, uh, it doesn't work like that. But what I recommend you do is you use GroupMe to break things into categories. So maybe you wanna talk with certain people about, even if it's just one person, about a certain topic and in another group about another topic. Use GroupMe to do that. That's what my family does. So check this out, this is pretty cool. GroupMe is currently my favorite group texting app or group messaging app um, because of this new feature that it has. I think it came out about a year ago, but my family started using it recently where you can break groups into subgroups, okay? So here's a real life example of how we use this subgroup feature with GroupMe in my family. Clape Your Family is our extended family, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, some of the nieces and nephews are in here, okay? But then there's some of us that love wrestling. So some of us that love wrestling are in a subgroup about wrestling. There's some of us who got into March Madness. So there was a subgroup to talk about March Madness. There was a subgroup for the people planning on getting together for the holidays, okay? Um, so you can create all these subgroups around topics that may or may not interest or may or may not, you may or may not want everybody in the bigger group to be a part of but you can do that all in one group without having to create multiple groups. It's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set this up right now, okay? So let's come back out here to our groups and let's click on this button here, this new, I don't know what you call this, but this is the start a new chat button. Click that and click start group. Let's name the group. I'll make up a name. Um, home solar okay you can give it a description if you choose then you create the group now you should add at least a couple people to it I'll add Marlone I'll add my wife come on oh it doesn't find my wife There she is. Okay. I'll add Pedro and I'll add Alex. Okay. So I create this group. And then, then you'd set up the, the settings. Anyone can join our approved members only. I'm going to do approved members only. Um, visibility. If it's visible to everyone, people can search it and find your group and may request to join. I'm gonna keep it hidden because it's just for business colleagues. Deleting messages, I like the admins and the authors to be able to delete. And then I can change the theme if I choose to. I can change my like icon to whatever I want. Okay, I can change my theme. They've got some pretty cheesy themes in here if you wanna use them. Save it. All right. And we're ready to go. Now that I've got this group, now I can create my subgroups. Okay. Let me close out these other subgroups. This is new. What does this do? Oh. You 
can send video and voice. That's cool. One of the reasons in the past that I used um, other apps is because you couldn't do these video calls. You can now do these with GroupMe. That might that might get me back on GroupMe a lot more. Anyway, so cool. Right here, you can do video calls or, or audio messages and things like that. Okay? And then... Um, you would send a poll, an event, media, a document, or just type a message to the entire group. But let's add a subgroup. They call these topics, okay? So I'm going to go add a topic here. And we're going to call this setting We're going to add another subgroup here. We're going to call that closing because we're, we're in sales, right? So I've got a group of closers, a group of setters. I've got Spanish speakers, so I could add a topic here. Why is it not letting me add more topics? The main chat. It's not letting me add more. I know you can have more because my family has more. But the idea, I may have to make a follow-up video to figure out why it's only letting me have two. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you can add more than two groups. Okay, but the idea is that people no longer have to search through the entire group chat for something about a certain topic. So you can create these multiple topics. They've got to let you have more topics. All right, okay. I can't do it from here, but I can do it from here over on the left, right here. New topic. So for my Spanish speakers. Maybe I want a topic that's just important announcements. Okay, I can add that. Whatever that is. So that's the cool part about GroupMe, making topics. So that would, that's what I would suggest. If you want to make a group me chat with just you and one other person, make that, but then make multiple topics depending. So you can post in those topics, those subgroups when you're talking about those subjects. OK, um, and it's especially useful with family, with business colleagues and with teams. Hope that was helpful. If it was, check out some of my other tutorials and subscribe to Teach Mom How.